Hello everyone, how are we all doing? Today marks one month since I uploaded my first YouTube video. And I just want to say thank you all so much for your continued support, for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. This is a massive dream come true for me. And your support gives me all the more motivation to keep going. So today's video is going to be interesting. I'm just going to dive right in because if I don't, I feel like this video is going to end up being 20 minutes long. So I have what I like to call a superpower. Ever since I was a little girl, very strange, coincidental things have been happening to me. And they haven't stopped or slowed down over the years, they've been pretty consistent. But I have found that during lockdown, the frequency with which these things happen is picking up. So I wanted to share with you my superpower slash weird coincidences that keep happening to me. The only way I can explain what it is is through examples. So when I was in primary school, I was obsessed with Disney Channel, I wanted to be on Disney Channel, and my number one show that I loved more than anything else in the world was Hannah Montana. So if I was at school and I was daydreaming, I would just think of a random Hannah Montana episode. And I'd be like, oh, I remember that episode when her cousin Luann comes to visit on Halloween. But then I would get home, turn on the TV, and that episode would be playing. Now there's probably an innocent explanation for that, Disney recycles a lot of their episodes and plays the same things on a loop, but that kind of thing kept happening to me with other shows. So later on in high school if I was like remembering a funny Modern Family episode, I'd come home, turn on the TV and that episode would be playing. And for a while this superpower slash coincidence thing would only happen with TV shows. And it wouldn't happen if I talked about the episode, it would only be if I thought about it. So I didn't actually have any concrete proof that I had a superpower. And it's not the same as a prediction because with a prediction you can say this is going to happen and then it does. With my specific superpower it was something I would just randomly think about innocently and then it would happen. Over the years I have found that it's kind of moved away from TV shows to other things in life. And the power itself is also mutated, so it's not only happening with things I think about, it's also happening with things I speak about. So before I would think about something and then I would see it. But now, when I speak about something, there it is. It's been happening to me so frequently during lockdown that I have a list on my phone of all the incidences where it's happened. And I'm going to share some of the better stories with you guys because I want to share the excitement and the craziness I feel when these things happen. So the first story I'm going to tell you happened in 2020. It was my friend's 24th birthday and we were in an Uber on our way to a restaurant to celebrate. And I somehow got it wrong and thought that he was turning 23. So in the Uber I just said, did you know that when you turn 23 it's called your Jordan year because Michael Jordan wears the number 23. And he looked at me and said, you know I'm turning 24. And I was like, oh okay well then I guess this is just a random fact. We get to the restaurant, it's a Turkish restaurant. We walk in, sit down, and there's like a specials menu sitting on the table. And one of the meals is called the Jordan meal. Do you see what I mean? I turned to my boyfriend and I was like, did you see that? This was probably the first instance where it hadn't been something I thought about and then it happened. This was now, I'd spoken about it, and it happened. And how crazy was it that I had just spoken about Michael Jordan and it being your Jordan year when you turn 23 and now there's this meal called the Jordan meal. The second story also happened in 2020 but this time I was staying over at my boyfriend's house. Norman by the way, his name is Norman. We were just chilling, having a relaxing evening and watching Family Guy. And I started thinking about one of the characters in Family Guy named Quagmire. And I thought about how his voice kind of sounds a little bit similar to my friend Alan's voice. I just kept thinking Quagmire sounds a little bit like Alan. And then, in this episode, Stewie looks at Peter and he says, What's your name again? Alan? Keep in mind, there is no character in Family Guy named Alan. Norman didn't believe me when I told him that because he was like, nah, you're just making that up, that's not possible. On to the third story. I was driving home after going to the beach with a couple of friends. And sometimes I like to do this thing where I'll look out the window and see a couple or a group of friends or whatever and I try to imagine what conversations they're having. And there was this little old lady and she was talking to someone, I assume it was her husband. So I looked at them and then I looked at my boyfriend and I put on this little voice trying to imagine what she was saying to her husband. So I said, oh Lionel, what a lovely day for the beach. 
Lo and behold, I turn on the radio and all night long by Lionel Richie is playing. Lionel, Lionel, what? I literally didn't know what to do in that situation. And I turned to Norman and I said, it's happening. And he was just like, okay, I kind of believe you now. I fail to understand how and why this keeps happening. Fourth story. So one day I was just sweeping the kitchen floor and I all of a sudden started thinking about the movie Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Do you want to guess what happened next? I went on Instagram. The first post that I see is from Charlie D'Amelio. Actually, I'm just gonna insert the screenshot because it's crazy. She posts a picture with her parents with the caption, I shrunk my parents. I was literally like, is my house being bugged? In fact, is my brain being bugged? Like, how do these things happen? I don't know what story I'm on now. Is it number five? And I specifically saved this one for last because it is a doozy. So I'm busy re-watching The Office on Netflix. And in one of the episodes, Angela starts talking about the show Will and Grace. And she says that she really loves the episodes when Harry Connick Jr. is in them. And I was sitting there like, wait a minute, who's Harry Connick Jr.? So I googled him and the little Wikipedia summary that comes up, I started reading that. You will not believe it. I'm just scrolling through this little summary about Harry Connick Jr. And I get to his children. He has a daughter named Sarah Kate. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. How is that possible? You guys don't understand. How do these things happen? So, if anyone has any pearls of wisdom as to what I can learn from these stories, or if there is a way to harness my superpower and train myself to use it for good, or just some kind of explanation, am I psychic? What is going on? What is this called and why does it happen? Please let me know because I need answers. And that is the <laughs> that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it and got some humor out of my confusion, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Please share it with your friends and family so if they have any kind of experiences like this, they can tell me what's going on. I'm leaving all my social media in the description as always so you can follow me on my journeys there. So stay safe, stay blessed, and I will see you soon. Bye! This isn't the same as being psychic, but I don't know what else to call it. I- <laughs> Brain, just tell me what you want. I always feel like I'm on the edge of insanity when I tell these stories.